Let's talk about the rope wrench. It's one of the greatest tools for climbing stationary rope. It was invented by Kevin Bingham, and Kevin Bingham's invention of the rope wrench revolutionized tree climbing because before the rope wrench came into use, before it was invented, the only system for climbing was the moving rope system, which is also called DDRT or doubled rope, but we're gonna go with moving rope system. The beauty of the rope wrench is that this knot, your friction hitch, is your life support. But if you were to climb this rope without the rope wrench and only the friction hitch, it would bind on the rope and you'd be stuck. The rope wrench, when you're climbing, when you weight the rope, it introduces a slight bend into the rope, which then makes this friction, friction hitch workable. The stationary rope system is the fastest and most efficient means for ascending a rope into trees. The taller the tree, the more you want to have a stationary rope system because it just lets you run up the rope quickly and get into the tree where you can do your work. So we want to have a short video on how to use the rope wrench so that you can be efficient and safe, feel comfortable, get into the tree and do your work. We'll do a couple of steps like how to install the rope wrench on the rope and then how to use it when you're in the tree. One of the tricks of installing a rope wrench is I've got four pieces of equipment in my hands, but I've only got two hands. So how do I install all of this on the rope without dropping it or having it get in my way? The first thing I like to do is take the carabiner, open it up, and stick it on a pocket anywhere, right where it's out of my hands but ready to put on the rope. Then I take the hitch cord, whichever hitch cord you're using with your knot, that's going to be personal choice, and I put it on a shoulder. Now that's out of my hands. Now I've only got two objects in my hands, the rope wrench and the pulley. I'm going to install the rope wrench with the arrows pointing up by taking out this little pin, opening the rope wrench, sliding it on the rope like so with the arrows pointing up. put the pulley on the rope, the tether on the pulley, the carabiner which is in my pocket ready to go is now coming through the rope and I like to have the gate facing up and I pull it towards me from the outside. And now I've got three pieces of equipment on the rope ready for the hitch cord. So when I install the hitch cord again the knot and the cord are your personal preference depending on many factors. I've got other videos on that but I'm going to tie a VT because it's a knot that I like a lot. So I put my VT on the rope. And then, once I have the VT tied, it's a matter of grabbing everything with the carabiner. So I grab the, the eye of the, of the friction cord, the tether, pulley, tether, cord, and I've got everything installed right there. I do a quick hand test to make sure that my knot holds on the rope. But one thing, and then finally, before I connect the carabiner to my harness, I just spin it around. And by installing it the way I showed you, it comes right down to my harness and I can put it on a swivel right here. Before you climb on the rope wrench, there's a really important safety check. It's in the instructions that come with the rope wrench and it's, you have to test your knot without the rope wrench on the rope. And I do that by grabbing the rope and pulling it up through the pulley and taking a quick jump. And the knot has to catch instantaneously, totally and firmly. And if it doesn't, we start over. So this knot caught me. I'm gonna do it again, just because. Sometimes it catch on, catches on the first try, but not on the second try. Now that it catches, I pull the knot down and reinstall the wrench on the rope. And I'm ready to climb. You'll also see that although it's not necessary, it's not required and it's you know, it's not a safety factor. It's pretty common for climbers to use a chest harness, which they attach to the middle eye of the pulley. Because now as I climb the rope, 
the chest harness will bring the pulley up the rope with me. Without the pulley, you just climb up the rope and then you lift the rope wrench, then you climb a couple of steps and lift the rope wrench. But this just makes it a lot faster and more fluid as you're climbing. That's step number one, is how to install the rope wrench on the rope. Look, I'm hanging in a rope. I've climbed about three feet off the ground. You can see the full system here with the rope wrench, the tether, the hitch cord, the hitch climber pulley, and my chest beaner going into the middle part. But there's uh, two other accessories that make climbing on a stationary rope system so much better. One is a foot ascender, right? Which opens and closes and you can put the rope in there. And the second is the knee ascender. You can climb the system without either one. You at least want a foot ascender. It makes it so much easier. The taller the tree, you really want a knee ascender as well. And when I climb with the rope wrench, all I've got to do is I put both my hands above the rope wrench and I stand and I lift one foot and then another foot. And then I can sit whenever I want. My most important safety tip when I'm using a rope wrench and I'm climbing is I like to get five or six feet off the ground and double check everything. I want to make sure I've got my saw, my scabbard, my phone, my first aid kit. If I need water, I've got my water. But the, the thing that I really like to check is that the rope wrench is connected to my harness. You can climb a rope without the rope wrench connected to your harness and get up there and realize that you're not actually connected to the rope. You're just hanging on with your hands. So once I get the whole system in place to climb, like I said, there's another important step is I'll take a couple of steps and whenever I want, I've got to lift that knot and capture my progress before I sit down. Because there was a good six inches there that if I were to sit, I would lose that height that I had just gained. And I don't want to lose six inches every time I sit down. And then just watch how I can climb up a rope. Ready? So one step, two, one step, two. If you're in good form, you can go 100 feet without stopping. You can run right up the tree. Now that I'm in the tree and the rope is fully weighted, you can see the bend that the rope wrench puts in the rope. It's that bend that takes a slight amount of my weight off of the friction hitch, which makes the friction hitch work. Without that bend, you'd climb into the tree and this thing would jam and you'd be stuck. That's how that works. To get out of the tree, I gotta disconnect everything that's my ascent system. So I've got to take off the knee ascender. I've got to take off the foot ascender. And we always keep these gates closed. See that gate? Always, because if I'm climbing around in the tree, the rope's going to catch in there and I'm going to get stuck. And last of all, you've got to take off the chest harness because that's for climbing only. If I'm going to limb walk in the tree or come out of the tree, I don't want that in there. Now I can get away from the, the pulley and I can work a position in the tree, limb walk, and go wherever I want and come down. To come down, all I got to do is grab this knot ever so gently. I like to keep, I like to keep my left hand on the rope by my hip, the right hand on the knot. And if I pull on that knot, Gently, I come down the tree. If I decide I want to come up again, I just reattach my harness and my, any of my ascenders and I can come back up the rope. In this position, I got a branch in front of me. So it's easy to just lift myself up, tension my rope, and I'm good to go. I can limb walk out on a branch, do whatever I need to do to work. I hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions about the rope wrench, the friction cord, the hitch climber pulley, or the tether, or any, or the system, please leave comments below in the comments section. Feel free to like or follow. If you've got any other questions, pose those questions to me and it can be the subject of a future video. 
Thanks again from Canopy Watch International, and we'll be seeing you around in the trees. Adios. So at the end of a YouTube video, it's just fun to show 